Hey everybody, welcome to LaRock's Cooking Adventures. I'm today's host, LaRock, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of the best sauces out there, okay? The white wine lemon butter sauce. Shout out to my subscribers, shout out to the new subscribers, and shout out to the people who just stumbled across LaRock's Cooking Adventures. One love and one shout out to you. Let's get into this. All right, guys, you need three simple ingredients for this lemon butter sauce. You need two cups of white wine, Chardonnay, whatever you prefer, whatever you like, use that wine because that's gonna be the flavor of this sauce. Okay, so we have two cups already in a measuring cup, one juice from a lemon, half a stick of butter. All right, all right, let's rock and roll. All right, guys. So add your two cups of wine. Into your sauce pot. Now for your lemon, right? If it's really, really super hard, just take it on the counter like that and then press it down and roll it out like that and squeeze it somewhat, okay? If it's super, super hard or you're just super, super weak, just roll it on the counter to make it soften up, okay? So, just gonna squeeze this, catching the seeds, because we don't need the seeds in our sauce. If you're not that fond of lemon, don't use the whole lemon, okay? Just use half. But this recipe right here, Laraki style, we're gonna use the whole lemon. Gonna squeeze it. Three seeds came out of the other side, so I don't think there are any seeds on this side. Okay, boom, like that. Add a half a stick of butter. Which is approximately four tablespoons, half a stick. Okay, like that, add it in there. Bring it to a boil, melt it down, and then add you a thickening agent. I recently made a video of a roux. I'll put a card up for that. You guys can use your roux to tighten it up or whatever tightening method you prefer. Cornstarch, arrowroot, roux, just flour, what have you. But my suggestion is to use the roux because it has the butter in it, which will keep the flavor consistent. Cornstarch and arrowroot, they taste a little bit funny to me. But that is to your discretion, all right? I'm gonna drop the temperature down. It's on high right now. So I'm gonna drop it down to two. All right. Bubbling up, boiling up. So in a minute, I'm gonna add the roux and tighten this up. I don't wanna lose too much of it. I don't wanna lose too much of it. So I'm not gonna reduce it too, too much. There's that boil. All right, guys, I'm gonna start out with a tablespoon of roux. There we go. Might be a healthy tablespoon, but some of it's gonna stick inside the, the, the measuring cup, the measuring spoon. So. Scoop it out. Huh? Really? We're just gonna stir this in until the start, uh, sauce begins to thicken up. Now guys, this white wine lemon butter sauce is a very common recipe in restaurants. When you guys order shrimp scampies or any type of scampi, they usually serve it with a white wine lemon butter sauce, like a chicken piccata might come with a white wine lemon butter sauce. A Grin and Blast might come with a white wine lemon butter sauce. A Clam Casino might have a white wine lemon butter sauce to it. You can 
see it tightening up, just take your time and wait for it to thicken up. Now, the rock is never patient, so <laughs> I'm going to add more now. I'm not gonna wait. I don't have the patience. I've never been a patient person. Even having kids, they 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 slowed me down. They they they've made me become more patient than you know my my early 20s when I was 21 or whatever after I had kids. Of course, then you know I started learning more patience and started to acquire patience and dealing with them because good lord, if you guys have kids, you already know what I'm talking about. But you can see already how it's thickening up, right? So I'm gonna add one more tablespoon while I'm here with the blah blah blah. Okay, one more tablespoon, real, right? Nice and thick. I want this wine sauce to be nice and tight. That's how the rock likes it. Nice and tight. Okay, you can see, you can see it's doing what it's doing. It's getting there. Now, in the event you guys happen to add too much roux, I mean, yeah, too much roux, and you end up making your sauce too thick, all you can simply do is cut it with just a little bit more of whatever liquid you used that you were trying to tighten up to begin with. So in this case, if this got too, too, too tight, all I would have to do is add a little bit more wine. And if it becomes too tight, gradually and slowly add your mix. All right, guys, this sauce is where I want it to be. You might not be able to really see the consistency or the thickness, but you definitely, I definitely can feel it. I can see it. I can feel it. Let me see. Okay. This might, this might help to set you free to see. Ooh. You see, it's not as loose as it was. It's not like watery, like the alcohol was, the Chardonnay was. It's tightened. Okay. There it is. That's a basic, simple white wine lemon butter sauce. All right, guys. That's it. That took, what, four minutes tops? There you go. All right, guys. There you have it. The rocks. White wine lemon butter sauce. Look at it. Tastes like wine. Okay, so remember, that was two cups. One lemon. Two tablespoons of roux and half a stick of butter four tablespoons I just want to say thank you guys for watching to my subscribers I love you to death for watching my content and subscribing to this channel to the people who stumbled across this channel and just watch our videos I'd like to say thank you also there it is white wine lemon butter sauce and remember guys there are many 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 dishes that you can use this sauce for all right the rocks out before you go guys click one of those videos up top that is suggested for you from youtube one video on the right says this video was the last video la rock made the other video on the left says this video from la rock is suggested by us youtube for you and it might be vice versa it might be the other way around I don't know. I can't tell. But thank you all for watching again. And a shout out, huge shout out to the subscribers who actually watch this content. I love you. Good day.